What's up, Jaguars? I'm Oscar, and today is Monday, June 8th, and welcome to the Jefferson Good Morning News. Now, from Olympia, Washington, the Jefferson Morning News. Today on the Jefferson Good Morning News, we begin with some good news from around Western Washington. Boys and Girls Club of Thurston County had a virtual fundraiser breakfast on May 28th. They usually host the fundraiser in person, but had to get creative this year due to COVID-19. This year's breakfast was broadcast on Facebook. As usual, real stories about Thurston County's young people and the club's positive impacts were shared throughout the event. Mindy Crump, the club's Director of Resource Development, says she is grateful toward the members of the local business community who continue to support the club, especially during this critical time. The story was originally posted Posted on Thurston Talk. Check out ThurstonTalk.com for the latest news on our local community. And now news from around the world. An IKEA outlet in Germany is being applauded for helping out the, the Islamic community in the area. Two weeks ago, the outlet opened up for their massive parking lot to members of the local Islamic community as a way for them to come together to celebrate the end of Ramadan. The most important thing was bringing people together, but keeping them safely apart. The parking lot was big enough so everyone could follow the social distancing guidelines, keeping people at least six feet apart. The company's decision meant a lot to the attendees, as Ramadan is very important in Islamic culture. And now it's time for our next bit of good news. What would you do if you found a million dollars on the side of the road? This exact thing happened to one family in Virginia. And in a heartwarming act of honesty, they made a life-changing decision. Earlier last week, school teacher El Emily Shantz and her husband, along with their two children, were out on a weekend drive when they stumbled upon what they thought were two bags of garbage. Pulling over to the side of the road, the family grabbed the bags and put them in their trunk to an attempt to clean out the environment and throw away the rogue bags of trash. When they got home, they opened the bags, and as it turns out, they had inadvertently hauled almost $1 million in cash home. In a show of integrity, the family eagerly returned the money to the local police. And that is today's good news. Now it's time for your stay home, stay healthy weather forecast with Sawyer Conklin. Well, hello there, Jaguars. I'm Sawyer Conklin, coming here from my garden. And what a coincidence that it is National Gardening Week. <clears throat> Woo! It's a big radish. All right, well, I'm going to get inside, clean up this radish, and I'll get back to you with the weather report. And I'm back from the garden. All right, on Monday we have 63 degrees. Tuesday, 63 degrees as well. 70 degrees on Wednesday, 68 on Thursday, Friday, 66. Saturday, 66 as well. 67 on Sunday. And now it's time for your Jefferson update. We wanna give a big shout out to Mr. Holder and his son who participated in a socially distanced tribute to America's fallen heroes. everyone about the band concert this week. See the Jefferson website for the link Tuesday night. And our next item in the Jefferson update is a salute to 23 eighth grade students whose work now appears in a literary compilation. The book is called Jaguar Journeys and is available to order on Amazon for only seven dollars each. A copy has also been reserved for the JMS library for students to check out. Thanks, Sawyer. Now it's time for your feel-good video of the week. Check it out. <laughs> 